Hey, hi all. Welcome back to Bearer Knowledge Center. Uh, in this session, uh, we wanted to see that how we are going to test bulk of HTTP request uh, via Locust. So there seems to be cases where uh, we cannot capture all the scripts. Of course, we have a tools to capture different HTTP requests of a particular website. But using a browser, simple uh, lo logic or simple steps to uh, capture that was we have to save those all requests in a hair file that is HTTP archive files and then those files we have to convert automatically into locust to python file so we'll see that logic on the process how to do that let me open my uh, website like let us see like uh, i'll open my website where i'm going to navigate through right i'll open my dev tool for as well right so you just keep preserve log so that it will keep uh, no retain the previous log files as well. And then you make sure that this is on the recording. I'm just, uh, let me open my blog. I'm just opening my blog, right? I'm navigating through some of the, um, uh, you know, kind of uh, uh, stuff here, right? And, okay, is it okay? Uh, this, this is fine. So now I'm going back to my dev toolbar here. So here I can see all the requests are captured, right? right? I'm just clicking on this right click and save all as hair with content. So that what it happened is it will save all the HTTP traffic into you know uh, your uh, uh, you know hair file and that hair, that hair file you are going to convert into locust file dynamically or you know with a CLI command and see like how it is generating the locust libraries. So I'm saving this hair file into this locust file saving it I'm just closing the stop and i'm just closing this website as well i'm going to my you know editor like in my in this case this is my editor so when you refresh that where did i put that okay let me get that Right on this, I think in Locust. Um, it's not good. It's not the thing that's not good. It's source. It's source, I think, in uh, Locust. So here I've seen so i'll move that file to my demo okay, i'm just copying it here uh let me create a folder right as by conversion as conversion and drag and drop here so that we add it now if you look at this uh hard files you will have uh, this this way so all the requests being captured here with the different attributes in JSON format. So web inspector and it has been you known first phase and then next phase and then next next all the met methods and the names and path everything being captured here. Uh, all the requests and the all the you know dependent uh, cookie values or IPs and sessions everything. Now I wanted to run a load test so for this particular scenario, right? So using Locust. So here thing is, I don't want to, you know, uh, take each and every request and put it into, you know, kind of here in this case, like this way, this way. I don't want to write any task basically, because I'm not sure like how my scenario is having uh, uh, a number of uh, uh, no requests. So there is a uh, CLI command in Python, Locust, to convert the entire hair file to Locust file. So how it is going to do that? So going to your terminal, right? I'm just closing all other nonsense stuff, right? So I'm just navigating to my uh, folder, R conversion. So here I have uh, the uh, R, no? Is it not the R file? Well, it has to be here. Yeah. No, I can see. So this is more into uh, my folder. Now I wanted to convert this to Locust your 
you know the uh, Python file. So the command was transformer. You can see that help if you want, right? This is the command so which can get installed automatically when you install Locust Tube. So convert web browser sessions have files into a Locust load test. This is directly saying the, um, the purpose of using transformer, right? So what you need to do is you need to use a transformer and uh, you know path of your uh, file, and then you say the destination file name as well so that it will automatically convert it to you know the uh, Locust Python file, right? So transformer and here in my case we are half file. I'm going to convert this to um, you know blog uh, locust dot file. So what it will do is it will convert you know complete this uh, half file to blog cast dot file. So see our uh, two files now, right? So now we can open it here. It was converted your entire stuff into you know this locust file. This is a locus to Python file is having all your half file requests. So you just see here, each and every request is created as a task because, um, because it may have a huge number of requests and it is not possible to create a manual using a task as like we have seen in the demonstration. So I also it was created this uh, initiating, uh, you know, initiate you know, or beginning of locus to uh, step here because the locus to will start. This locust will be you no know, compiler or the process will start here with the HTTP locust here. And then it will take task from this particular thing, right? So now wait and minimum wait, maximum it also here given. So we need to set a host here. The result will change how to do that. So in my case, I think it is this is my host, right? And that's it. Now Let's see like how it is running. You can run that. Okay. Good. Seems good and it is ready for running. So yes, clear all the stuff. So now I want to run this through a web interface. Yeah. When I say this, this is going to start my locus to web interface anyway. I'm going to open my interface. Right, it has come through here. I'm going to run this for one user and one second, one 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 request per second. Right, just hit this button. It will start, you know, hitting all your pages. Look at here. So almost all our uh, get requests. It is sending this, sending this, sending this, sending here, sending here. So many requests you have been captured and saved in half. And all the requests being, you no know, converted to locus to Python file. Then this locus web interface shows you all the requests here right you can see the number of requests being you know sent to a server right uh and also you can see this the timelines here and again charts also you can see that so how it is sending uh requests right and also you can see the response time and the number of users here one user and failure certainly you can see the failure here and otherwise you are for so on so that's okay because they're not parameterized properly if you are just captured and then like converted to locust file and then I'm seeing it right. So you can see the uh, download report as well. You can see all the stuff here, all the requests uh, means showing here, right? Whatever request you have been captured, your navigation scenario, all these things can be captured and can be seen here, like how much time it has taken when you uh, know process to a locust to a web server and the response time and the failure request, everything you can see here. Okay. The complete report you can you can download it if you want it at your local and you can see it later because once it is stopped this locus then it won't uh, display the right okay so when going back to my editor this thing here right when i say stop then you can see all the stuff here all the stuff has been displayed here okay this is something you can you know create or run through all your uh, web traffic to a locust python file and you can run for locust in the single step right it doesn't take much time to do because you don't need to wait for uh, a right manual task for, for every request it will automatically convert it to a python file the only thing is you need to make sure that host uh, has been mentioned in your web test or load test that's the only thing you need to make sure and the stuff the stuff 
just look at the URLs properly captured by local store map. And also you can um, make sure that the parameters dynamically, whatever you're passing through in the real time scenarios has been properly processed or you know, send it to your request or not. That's the only thing you need to make sure. Otherwise, it's a simple process. So only thing is what it is. I'm just uh, we, uh, tell you, only thing is transform and there's a hair file and then uh, the symbol of creator then because the entire output, I'm going to put it into the specific target Python by theory, blog local Python, right? So that file is going to convert entire this stuff into, you know, Python file. Okay, so this is how you are going to convert hair file to a local Python file and then you run through a local store, Lotus tool. Okay, so thanks for listening to this video and uh, please subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thank you.